hey guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome if you're my returning subscriber thank you so much for tuning in my name is musa wakakubinkoma and please make sure that you follow me on social media i'm gonna put the social down below so anyways as you can say so i've decided to name this series of stories um to let's have a glass with musta we're not gonna have a glass of of coke every day we're gonna change we're gonna have strong things because these stories guys are like they so some are so emotional and some are so sad we just gonna need a glass so please make sure that you follow the story please make sure that you follow the series please make sure that you follow me please make sure that you give your best advice because you know what sometimes it's very hard to like seek advice from friends or from family because those niggas are so judgmental i've said this before and i'm saying it again so people i also do people like me go to strangers for advice so and it's very helpful guys actually it's so helpful seeking advice from someone you don't even know so please make sure that you give them the best advice ever so anyways um i've got my first story from my email if you also want to share a story with me you can just email it to me or you can just holler on my social media on dms i'll get back to you and also i promise to keep you anonymous okay so today i have let's have it don't forget to subscribe like and comment definitely you gotta comment on this one so yeah let's get a story hi mr Musa is me Musa is us. <laughs> Hi, Musa. Please keep me anonymous. I always do. I always keep people anonymous, guys. Not unless you state that you don't want to be anonymous. But I think that's the way. I have a problem I'd like to share and take advice. I don't know what to do. Um, I don't know where to begin with all this. I'm a 22 year old student doing my third year now. I met this guy, first year varsity. We got uh we got along just fine we get we got along just fine okay we decided to be friends and he was always there i know everything about him he knows everything about me good girl i won't lie he changed my life because i would tell him my troubles as i don't have parents i stay with my abusive aunt who thinks i'm good for nothing always mistreating me but my relationship with my cousin is tight. She's always there and she also doesn't like what her mother is doing to me. So this guy came into the picture on the perfect time. Sorry, I'm scrolling down. Life was good. After five months of being best friends, we decided to give it a try and date it. And bear in mind, he was already doing his third year. So we dated and everything was fine. Um, he started changing after his graduation. He graduated on my second year which is last year and got a job at Mercedes Benz. Like enough, he was placed in the same province and city, even though I stayed in a campus just outside his city. We still saw each other on a daily basis and he wanted me to move in his apartment in town, but I refused because I needed to focus at school. Okay. Still, everything was fine until this year. He got a permanent post in January. Congratulations. Bought a car on February. Congratulations and that's where he started to change he started having new friends that go out a lot he he didn't give me enough time now we only spent the weekends together if i'm liking hmm? i tried to voice out how this is making me feel uncomfortable he said i'm dramatic i let it go so last month i found out that i'm four months pregnant Ooh. and i don't know how i didn't know that i'm pregnant so i told my i told him that i'm pregnant he said a lot of hateful things as if i kept this as a secret because i wanted to hold him by a baby i honestly didn't know he gave me money for abortion i went to mary stop they told me they can't abort the baby after 21 weeks i told him he was so furious to a point he wanted to beat me up but i started crying then he left he drove me to campus with no conversation in the car and he blocked me from social media and whatsapp he blocked my calls and everything so i went on for weeks 
without talking to the guy until I decided to go back to his apartment only to find out he moved out. Now I have no idea where he is and I can't even accept this child. My life is going to be more difficult with my monster aunt because I'm going to have to drop out and look after this child. I'm writing to you on tears. I don't know what to do. Hmm? I thought I had it bad. So yeah, guys, that's the story. Because niggas ain't shit. But like this happens to a lot of guys. When you tell them you're pregnant, they freak out. But this kind of freaking out... That's not on. You freak out, okay, you freak out, but you still talk to me, but you freaked out that I'm pregnant, but you still talk to me. This freaking out of blocking and moving out, no, that's not on, babes. Mm -mm. A lot of guys, a lot of guys, um, especially in the era, like, they vanished. The minute you told, you told the nigga that you're pregnant, they just vanished. Niggas, niggas aren't ready to take responsibilities, like, niggas, just when I have unpotted excess journey, it comes with responsibilities. Hey, Bo, I am so sorry that you're going through, but let me tell you one thing. If you can go back to my channel, watch my, my story of being 18 and pregnant, I was there. This year, 22. I was there. I'm not saying, like, there's something bad about me, but I was there. I had to do it all myself. So, love that baby love that child that child is gonna change your life like i don't know what you're gonna do currently but i'm sure god will figure something out because i believe that you are gonna get through this you are going to get through this even if the guy can't forgive him let him take responsibility like forgive the nigga because i know he may be shocked right now because it sounds like you were guy you guys were tight as f Let's just say he's shocked, but yeah, this is just some kind of sick shockness. Um, okay, go on. Keep praying. Keep praying. Everything will work out for you. Keep praying, and I'm sure your parents are watching all, or are watching on you now. Everything is gonna be fine. And um, what can I say? If it happens, and it's gonna be hard, cause we, if this nigga doesn't come around until we give birth, you're gonna have to stay home and look after the baby to is that just pray just pray if the guy doesn't come along until you give birth it's okay you're gonna be okay with your baby love that baby that baby is yours like don't take out your anger of what that like it did to you no babes it's about right it happened to all of us but here we are we're good we're good, nigga. <laughs> we're good. See, I but can you imagine that? Otherwise, we're good. Anyways, please comment down below what you think a girl should do, and please comment if you wanna share stay with me. Email at m u s a q u b i three at gmail dot com. That's musakobe three at gmail dot com, and I will see you next time. I love you, gang, 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 gang. Bye.